Bonjour now YouTube, it's Trevor here, something or nothing, out in the garden today. I'm covering a few videos in one video. Basically we've been tagged uh, for a few things. We've been tagged by Mads76 and Gordon, a Shropshire lad, for the Show Us Your Brew challenge. Naif is going to take that challenge in a minute. And also we've been tagged by Dave Outdoors and Bulldog Badger for the five wild camping tips. And then also we've got a giveaway. If you stay tuned, we'll discuss the terms for the giveaway. But first of all, we are going to go over to Naif, who in true summit or nothing style, will attempt the show us your brew challenge. How difficult can this be? Let's have a look. Hi guys, it's Nathan here from Summit or Nothing. So today I'm responding to a, a nomination from Mad76 on the Show Us Your Brew, hashtag Show Us Your Brew nomination. So I believe the, the whole thing started off or was started by a guy called Jiffy Myers, the wild camping Welshman. I believe he works in mental health and I think the whole impetus behind the uh, Show Us Your Brew thing, and I think given the 2020, 2021 COVID pandemic, I think it just brings it right to the forefront you know because there are so many people living in isolation at the minute that need uh, to be able to reach out to people and need to be able to speak to people and the thing is I think people that might not have necessarily identified with having mental health issues prior to last year uh, and the beginning of this year might actually be starting to now understand or empathize or, or identify with it in a way that they haven't done before yeah and I think you know the thing is is none of us should feel alone as mads quite rightly said in his video you know reach out there is always someone that wants to listen and i think another important thing that needs to be said is that also you know for those of you that aren't suffering with mental health issues be aware that just because it's not affecting you doesn't mean it's not affecting someone around you and the problem with it is is quite often people will hide their mental health issues to the point where they seem happy and bubbly on the outside they're just compensating and they're not opening up and they're not letting you in to see what's on the inside look in other people for um, behaviors that might indicate that they're not as healthy as they seem to be um, yeah so anyway, on that note, uh, here I am, uh, and I am gonna show you what's in my brew. So, also Mads was very specific about requesting that this video be filmed in Betsy. Uh, as you can see from outside, I've picked a wonderful location, uh, local industrial area to where I live. It's a Saturday, it is hacking down with rain, it's not particularly pleasant, and we're still in lockdown. So, to be as responsible as I can, I've done a very short drive uh, to somewhere where I can park up and film this in peace and quiet without people walking past or driving by. I'm in Betsy and I've got my little bag with me. Some of you might be familiar with my little low pro day sack vent system on the back. It's super lightweight. Yeah, I think it's only 20 liters. So in here, I've got Cedar Summit titanium spork, long handle. And then we've got my actual brew kit itself. So I've got a little orange bag. This came with it. I don't know if you can see that. Tokes is the brand of titanium pot that I chose. Big enough to fit a small gas canister in it. So it's a Tokes titanium. Um, no, crap. There you go. That's the preparation I've done for this video. That is rust. That was put away damp at some point. This is gonna be fun. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the little bit of pad for cleaning the rust out of the top. So I think whatever I do, this is gonna taste like rust. Here, Nate, top tip here. When I've got my little titanium pot, I wrap it in tissue paper so it doesn't rust onto the inside. Tokes titanium pot, uh, the markings on the side go up to 500 mil on the inside. I'm not gonna put it right in there because of the rust issue. On top of the gas canister, I've got my BRS 3000. So, stove goes on, we're gonna put some water in. So I've just got one of these cheap aluminium water bottles I got from Go Outdoors, I think. Gas, BRS 3000, little bit lighter. Just buy a bulk load of them off of Amazon. Got some gas in there. Turn the burner on. 
As far as an actual brew, it's a double chocolate mocha. You are kidding me. I've just run out of gas. <laughs> so, thanks for the nomination, Mads. Really appreciate it, mate. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this brief video from the back of Betsy. Uh, hopefully you guys are all keeping safe and hopefully in the not too distant future we'll come out the other end of this pandemic and then we can all go camping again. But until that point, I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Chase. <laughs> Thanks for that knife. Much appreciated. At least he got out and gave it the effort, eh? So then it's the wild camping tips. Now everyone's giving these five wild camping tips. We've had all the same five tips over and over and over. You all know to leave no trace. You all know to test the area and find the nice ground. So our five tips are gonna be slightly different. Tip number one is, it's got to be, make sure you know how to put your tent up. Right, so it's up, just doesn't look very sturdy at the minute. Not entirely sure there's enough pegs with it, what I've done. I've used the stone. Looks like it could be a bit tighter. Looks a bit saggy around the edges. It's nothing like camping, is it? Chill out. Nafe, tip number two. Uh, if you've decided that you absolutely must go hiking and wild camping in a torrential downpour, don't pitch your tent on soft, spongy ground at a real low point where it's likely to sort of bubble up through the ground and get you absolutely soaking in the middle of the night, especially when you're using a tarp and not a tent with a ground sheet. That would be a tip that I would advise anyone. So, basically, my roll mat's like a pontoon floating in the lake, just a puddle. My feet are wet, soaked from the baby bag. It's only one o'clock in the morning. I haven't had that much sleep. I quite happily go home now. Pretty much f***ed off with the whole adventure. Look at it. That there was twice as big. Half of it is in my bag, in my sleeping bag. And then look, look at that up there. Ready to burst its bank and trickle down there, right into me. Um, this is why you don't go camping when they put these extreme weather warnings out. My tip number three would probably be if you're sharing a tent with someone, make sure that someone isn't on a high protein diet. What has transpired is I've got terrible gas. So, uh, it's what raining out. <laughs> and it's raining, so everything's sealed up. So what we're doing is using my vape to uh, counteract the stench. It's gonna be a long night, Mo, isn't it? We've got 12 hours of this. Just put it out there. Gonna be a long night. Oh, the dog now has got gas. It smells like a dog shit in here. Okay, tip number four. If you're taking your tent down in the wind, make sure you do it in the right order. Preferably collapsing the tent down and then unpegging it. Tip number five. Back to you, Naif. Um, maybe just don't do what me and Trev do. Follow a channel with people with actual sound advice. 
Okay, so that was our five wild camping tips. I hope you enjoyed them. So thanks very much guys for your tag. And uh, as for our tag, we are just gonna openly tag it. So anyone who wants to have a go at either or both of these tasks, then uh, yeah, please feel free. Just go for it. So this month's giveaway, it's a decent one. The one Tigress wood stove. Don't worry, it's not this one. This one's all blemished and used. I've been using it. Great little bit of kit. Ideal for practicing your bushcraft. Packs away nicely into this lovely flat pack. So anyway, yeah, this is this month's giveaway. So how do you get it? Simples. Make sure you subscribe, first of all. It's not essential, but it's just common courtesy, isn't it? Once again, it's a UK only competition, I'm afraid. So if you live outside of the UK, then I'm afraid you are not eligible for this competition. Plus, there'll be more giveaways in future, so you don't wanna miss out on those. So follow the instructions and I will choose a winner in the next week or two. So yeah, drop a comment below and in that comment, just make sure you use these four magic words. I want that stove. Simple.